Yo, I'm mad. Someone beat me to the punch. I'm trying to find the post, but if time stamp it, I actually created a video and I haven't mastered YouTube, so I'm not going to pull it up, but it's in my thing where I did talk about, uh, I did talk about, basically, I, I, I talked about freaking uh, the old Cinderella from oh, that Moesha did. I, I talked about it. But timestamp it, I actually did an episode uh, referencing it that I was going to talk about it, but, you know, my production is low, and you know, I'm still going to kind of hold off on it. But the Ariel Little Mermaid thing is making it clear. Now, the reason why I didn't just bring it up just as soon as the Ariel and the Little Mermaid thing came up was because I know for a while they've been doing this. But the thing is the age gap. And again, it's so beautiful because the thing is that as... The women try to make the men accountable. What is continu continuously shown is that, well, I mean the age gap between uh, Black Cinderella and Black Ariel. What's beautiful is that, again, it makes it clear and revives the, the conversation about how long have, uh, has the media really been pandering to Black women and just Black women. It's beautiful. I mean, it's beautiful. I'm trying to find the post so I can react to it or take a picture and use it. I hope I do. It wasn't even a part of this page. Dang, I don't think I'm going to find it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to find it. <sighs> well, look. Real talk, keeping it honest. Um, it, it, the issue wasn't... It, 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 let's kind of break it up. There's pandering, uh, soft soft power pandering, and then there's this heavy pandering. And the issue is kind of how things have changed. Uh, nowadays, uh, when they're dealing with black women and the issue about dating out, is it still an issue? Different things out of nature, black women holding black men accountable for considering, for considering other options. Now that that's more of an open talk, the pandering uh, is more heavy and more on the head now. Because if anyone remembers, Vivica Fox has done interracial relations in movies. She has. And the thing is, a lot of people don't point it out, and I'm going to point it out, but Vivica Fox has been in a few movies where she's pandered to or had relations to men who weren't black. And the thing is that I notice is whenever it comes to black women considering and talking about other options, they normally try to hide their ability to have other options to make the men who they're addressing and dealing with accountable. Now, on the whole, you would think technically there's nothing wrong with that. And technically, you would be correct. Problem is, is that it costs a woman nothing to get another option or to get uh, another guy. Zero, nothing. And with the old ways and the traditional ways, it costs that man everything in order to make her an option. You see, the thing is, while hypergamy has made certain things easier, it has also made just normal relations, relationships, uh, stressful and hard. Also, they're not really a, norm, uh, a normal idea. Women aren't empathizing with men as much or as often, and they're not seeing them. They, they're paying attention to their youth and how easy it is to get certain men and trying to preserve that, whether it comes to bashing men over the head for choosing younger or different things of that nature. They, they care more about that now than about, can I relate to a man who I'm going to be with for the rest of my life? Answer is, no, they, they don't. Uh, when it comes down to that in particular. Now, what does that have to do with the pandering issue? What it has to do with it is that while this problem is prevalent all across the board, black women have a tendency to try to make black men feel guilty while doing it. And it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense in general. Um, if you're going to consider other options, do it. Why are you making so much noise or making it prevalent or putting it out there? And, it's be, and I think it's because partially they feel guilt for doing it. But the easiest way to do it is to offshift the guilt on the men. But now that we know uh, from 1990, uh, Moesha's Black Cinderella to uh, 
2020, because it's been a lot in between, to 2020's uh, Black Ariel, now that the pandering is becoming obvious and we're having these conversations, there's more accountability on the people who keep presenting these ideas. Because whenever a character is squished out for Black, it becomes an issue. Even when it's an original character. Consider Captain America, uh, the Black Captain America, who is a character, is a fictional character, is established, is not really a part of the whole woke thing. Uh, consider that the, uh, some of the color switch outs that they do. And, and I've talked about it b between Black Starfire to Black Cinderella to Black Ariel. The, uh, some of these aren't original characters. They just do this manifest thing where they switch out. And I said it before, they just switch out a uh, female character who's going to get married to uh, a Black woman. And the reason why normally I oppose when they do it to Black men is because it's lazy. And so when it's not a justified reason or not an original character, it just feels lazy. Whereas the black women are okay with it. But that's something I've never truly understood. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, they've been pandering to them for a while. And now that black women keep have tried to make black men accountable for so long and tried to be like, hey, I'm, I'm more valuable now that I'm dating out of something like that, uh, honestly, it goes back on the women. And we start to look at the machine that's producing this propaganda and questioning why it does treat the men different from the women. Now I have my own theorem, but when you remove my theorem and just isolate this whole thing, it is interesting that you do see white men, black women, couplings on camera on, oh my God, even a recent Sonic, even the recent Sonic. Look, we, we, get, th we get maybe three characters. And it's not even relationships. The one that's coming out... Wait, God of War. <laughs> God of War has uh, Atreus with his, what is supposedly black wife. Holy crap. Get the fuck away from black women. <laughs> they, they, uh, the amount of pandering is crazy. Nah, but um, we got into the Spider-Verse and maybe we'll have a good relationship. Maybe we'll have that if they don't try to end it and destroy it. Aside from that, um, Netflix did have, uh, and that was last year really, but Netflix did have the explosion with, what was it? I forgot it, but it was a woman's book that they converted. And because uh, the man was, he wasn't even dark skinned, but because he, he was light skinned. But because he uh, was a black man and it was a white woman, uh, a lot of people didn't like that relationship. But this new season, they have a white man and a black woman and they switched it up. And it's almost like they want to ignore the fact that the real attention grabber, the real shift in conversation, the real thing that brings attention is the black men, white women relationships. Because that is a real barometer for racial sensitivity and racial acceptance. Mainly because at the end of the day, Black women don't say anything whenever they're being pandered to. And the 1995, well, 1990s Black Cinderella makes that very, very clear. Vivica Fox and some of the movies she did in the 1990s, because I watched the Bible movie that she did, makes that very clear. Black women are not afraid or don't care or are happy to be pandered to. And if it ends up hurting black men, they don't care. But when they feel when they feel guilt, they're gonna turn around and be like, "Well, you, you guys don't have X, Y, and Z." They don't build communities. They're replacing the men in the community, and for everyone else outside the community, they're a sex option, and they're they're kind of terraforming themselves uh, into that. So you know, just accept it. That's what's going on in America. And I don't mean accept it as in oh, take it into yourself. I mean accept it as in accept that's their decision, because they can say one thing. Women can always say one thing and do another. Uh, when chips fall down, when everything goes wrong, it's going to be on you whether or not it works out as a man. Even with a lot of these relationships, a woman can be toxic and dysfunctional. Everything gets blamed on you. But you have to answer to pandering as a black man. Because I'm not really expecting black women to watch this. I'm, I'm not realistically. Um, I am expecting some downvotes. Uh, Ten seconds. <laughs> I'll do.